Good afternoon, everybody. We are here in Ghana, Asebu to be specific. And uh, do you remember someone made a comment that, Echo, you shoot videos from Asebu about what is happening, but you've never interviewed any of the brothers or sisters who are building. Uh, so today's conversation is going to be um, uh, between me and brother and a sister who are already you know, doing something on the motherland. Um, my name is Echo Simpson. Please, what's your name? My name is Sharon. Sharon. Sharon, where are you from? Florida, U.S. Wow. That is where Miami is. Yes, near Miami, 20 miles from my, Miami. Wow. That's one place I would like to go because they said that place is beautiful. Is it true? Oh, it's true. Sunny. It's lovely. Nice beaches. Beautiful, beautiful. You have to come. <laughs> All right, so pretty soon I'll go and enjoy myself, you know, in Florida. Yes, um, you are here on the Asebo land. You are making an impact already because I've seen people building for you. I mean, you've employed people to do that. That means you are helping reduce the dependency rate on, you know, brothers and sisters here in Africa and then unemployment. How did you make this, how was the transition like for you to move from Miami all the way to say, yo, I want to come to the motherland and settle here in Ghana? Well, it wasn't exactly me. It was my mom. She started doing some research on Africa, Ghana, the motherland, mm -hmm. and the family thought she was nuts <laughs> when she started talking about coming to Africa and I also thought she was crazy as well. I never thought I would be here in Africa. But she asked God to give her one, at least one family member, and he gave her me. Wow. Uh -huh. Well, I think everybody should be clapping, you know, yeah, because <laughs> this is beautiful. Put it up in the comments and say something beautiful to her, yes. And then you decided to take that path to move to the motherland. Yes, I decided to take that plane ride. I had mm -hmm. never taken a plane ride before. <laughs> oh boy. And um, it was exciting. And now I'm here. I'm here in the motherland and I love it here. Everyone should come at least. If you can't come to live, come to visit. Great, great. Now you are doing a project which is building for yourself. Are you expecting a family member to join or you be here alone by yourself? Well, actually, it's my mom here already, oh, okay. my son, okay. and we're also expecting some other family members to come later. Wow. Mm -hmm. I love this. Your son is here. My son is here. I don't want to know his age, but I think it's difficult for young ones like us mm -hmm. to leave all that out there to come. What was his reason for coming? I mean, it wasn't, yes, it would be to follow the mom, but there should be another reason. Well, it was actually to follow the mom. <laughs> it was it was hard for him, very mm -hmm. difficult. Mm -hmm. But now that he's here, he loves it. He loves it here, okay. and he don't want to go back to the states. Wow, mm -hmm. Beautiful. especially building the house. And mm -hmm. he said, "It's his house. It's not my house. It's his house." Uh huh. He's he's claiming that already. Yes, he's claiming that. <laughs> yeah, great, great. So now the decision to take part in that Cebu project. How did you hear about it, and how is it going so far? Well, like I stated uh, before, it was my mom. She uh, found uh, some free land mm -hmm. on YouTube, okay. and she started to research it. And um, we, when she got here, it was like the land is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's very beautiful. And um, I got, got um, Mr. Byron to yeah. assist me, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, being that I'm a lady and I'm the first lady yes. to start building here. So... Firstly. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so it was it's Mr. Byron that's assisting me with the house, and I um, also have a a contractor that's doing a marvelous job. Yeah. He's standing in the back, okay. Mr. Joe. Mr. Joe. Uh, Mr. Joe, wave. <laughs> Say something. <laughs> 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 yes. And look, four weeks. Look what they have done in four, four weeks. weeks. Four, four weeks. weeks. Yeah. So it's just it's beautiful, and the land is beautiful. Oh man. It's nice. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sure when you he, when he go here, you've met 
couple of people and they're also happy about what is going on here. It's not fake, it's not fake at all. Yeah. <laughs> You're actually looking at real people in a real house behind yes. us. It's not fake people. Yeah, they think it's a scam that, no, you it's know, not. the chief and his people. Oh no, it's not. Mm -hmm. It's not. I'm telling you, it's not. It's a real it's, thing. It's a real thing. It's a real mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and I'm and I'm happy that you're the first lady. The first lady. Yes. Mm -hmm. So then you are the first lady of the African diaspora. You should be the first. We should. We have to give you that recognition. We have to give you an office because she's the first lady on this land to start her project. So like we have the first lady with the president's wife. You will be the first lady on this land. Hip hip hooray. Yay. Hooray. Yay. <laughs> yes. All right, yes. Great. Great. <laughs> so your last words to people who are skeptic about moving here or thinking that they are not fit to move onto the motherland. Yes, um, you can do it. I did it. Mm -hmm. I took that first plane ride. I built my first house. And if I can do it, you can do it. So yeah. just come. It's, it's truly, it's truly, I mean, we have some, you're going to have some obstacles yeah. along the way. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the way it is in life, right? So, but other than that, I mean, it's just, I mean, it's, it's beautiful here. Come and see, come and see. Mm -hmm buy some land mm -hmm. it's freedom freedom yeah. here in the motherland you, you don't have to worry about all of the the taxes in the u.s you know so it's like you get you build your house and you have just freedom yeah. come and see yes. if i can do it you, you can, can do, do it, it. <laughs> <laughs> now before we go i know byron has been so helpful to you yes Yes, he's been so helpful to me, and everyone must come meet Byron. Mm -hmm. He would assist the people that need assistance, especially the women, okay. because I'm, I'm here, you know, not alone, but mm -hmm. uh, I'm not married as of yet. Uh, hey. So <laughs> he assisted me knowing that I'm the, um, the, the first lady. I'm, yes, so he's been a lot of help. So come and meet Byron. He will give you that same help. Mm -hmm. We're as a family here. It's like a family. You know, Byron's got a farm, farm mm -hmm. bananas, carrots, cucumber, mm -hmm. cabbages, all that, <laughs> just for us. Yeah. We won't, you won't go hungry here. Yeah. So come, come, people. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Byron, so what do you say? Thank you very much mm -hmm. for, you know, supporting her. What do, you, what do you say? Oh, she's welcome. You know, she's a lovely lady. And, you know, I, I'm happy to give her all the help I can. And, you know, I will also help others who wants to do the same, who wants to come and build. Uh, you know, they can always get in touch with me and, you know, we can give them help. So, hey, thank you very much for hanging out with us. I'm going to shoot, give you a drone shot of her beautiful palace, right? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah. <laughs>